honored to do this next show because it's really a celebration of beautiful artistry and craftsmanship and silversmithing from wonderful Native Americans who create our Chaco Canyon line. We have two hours and you've got to hang with me. You're going to see some glorious pieces. I look at this cuff is amazing. We have so many customer pick with brilliant reviews and we have brand new and we have a few things on sale. But I want to feature right off the bat the very first thing on my finger. Now this isn't coming up for a while, but if you would like to try Chaco Canyon, if you're just a huge fan of beautiful jewelry, if you want a ring that's absolutely stunning, this is coming up later on in the show and it's on sale. Originally almost $100, we're now at $89.98 and we have four flex pays. Now we have sizes five through 12, but of course because it's genuine turquoise, no two are ever alike, but look at how blue and how beautiful that turquoise is. So we have just a little sneak peek and just a couple of things coming up before we jump into the show. But let me tell you a little bit about what to expect in the next two hours. As I mentioned, it's Chaco Canyon. There's my beautiful guest, Jennifer, who's gonna be joining me. She's from the San Carlos Apache uh, tribe. She works very closely with these amazing artisans who have kept this incredible, incredible um, technique alive. And I love the fact that when you support this show, when you're buying the pieces, you're helping families and you're supporting uh, what we should be supporting, a jewelry that's proudly made here in the United States by brilliant artisans uh, from the Southwest. And Miss Jennifer joins me tonight. Hi. Hi. How are you, sweetie? Good, how are you? What a glorious show. Yes. Beautiful. <laughs> and I love the first set. I love the first set because we mix so many things with it. What you're going to see here is just impeccable design, beautiful, stunning jewelry. We have a whole entire cross collection. Now, you're going to see in just a second the size of these earrings, and they are absolutely breathtaking. We've got earrings, we have the beautiful cross pendant, which is substantial, and we also have the ring. So we have three pieces in this first collection. And Jennifer, this is actually all on sale tonight, which is great, and we have five flex pays, starting on the cross, of course, first. These are my favorites because when you when you look at these uh, crosses, they have a unique look to it, and there are three separate artisans that have worked on them together. And you can see the unique detail that is on them. And the artisans here are Roberta Begay, Irvin Sosi, and Paul Jake. I love it. Wow. And again, look at the big, that's a huge bail. Yeah. <laughs> Whoever did that part was not messing around with the bail. But this is all genuine turquoise. Let's talk about the turquoise and being from the Kingman mine. Uh, Actually, I was told that the Kingman mine, uh, the, the turquoise is actually getting pretty, pretty low, especially for the baby blue turquoise that is pretty sought after. Uh, they said it's pretty much next to Sleeping Beauty turquoise, the way it uh, looks, and especially with the clean blue uh, turquoise look to it. And so, um, so while we're, we have a certain amount of rough, the artisans are working you know, within their means, and especially cutting it you know, close to the edge to make perfect uh, crosses like what we have here for you today. Okay, so guys, I want to show you the size of this because I really <laughs> love it. It's not teeny little crosses that are hard to see. They decided to make these really substantial. So let's start with the earrings. From the bail down, that's three inches, and it's all sterling silver. Across the front, you're going to see that's an inch and a half. On the pendant from the bail down, we are right again about three inches, and then once again, about an inch and a half going across the front. And you'll see on Oshi here in just a second, these are substantial. They're meaningful. They're powerful, powerful pieces. They're beautiful to wear. In fact, I'll just put this one up here. If you wanna wear a collection of them, which I know is so popular to do uh, if you're wearing turquoise, just look at how amazing that cross is. And originally this was 249. For those of you who are watching, I have less than 170 of these at 229.90. And it will not surprise you, and Jennifer, of course, you know I'm kind of like a, um, a nerd when it comes to doing my research before I go on the air. Um, so many customer picks. And we have review after review after review that just talk about how amazing these designs are and how substantial the materials are. Yes. Can you kind of explain that? Because there's no skimping on these pieces. No, and especially the way they are made. Uh, like you said, the bells are pretty big. They can go on uh, basically anything from your beaded items to scarves to hats to your bags. I mean, it's very versatile, and especially for a cross like this, 
This would be a unisex cross. Uh, this is uh, yeah. basically what you would see on uh, uh, Native men and women in the Southwest, and especially we just had a big uh, powwow gathering out in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and for a lot of the dancers, for the men and the women, they've worn crosses and uh, big uh, regalia items just like this. And so um, it's uh, basically our diamond, I guess you can say. And I love the fact that this is so layerable. I mean, if you have, I know in stock right now, and I honestly wish it was in the show, we have a five strand nugget turquoise necklace, you know what I'm talking yeah. about? It's twisted <laughs> online, but it actually is beautiful. And I have one at home that I love wearing. But what you'll see if you go to uh, the Southwest or anywhere that, where turquoise is really um, worn a lot is these layering. You know, taking a big piece like this, putting it on that turquoise strand you already own. Maybe you have just a simple nugget strand. It'll look great. We have the liquid silver strands available today. And we have two sizes. We've got the 18 inch and the 24 inch. They're an insanely good price for liquid silver. I was shocked at how impressive it is. Yeah, 18 and 24, as I just mentioned, and it's liquid silver, and they're like 30 and $34. And look at that, isn't that, oh, thanks guys. There we are, 30, 40, and 35, 40 for these beautiful necklaces. And you'll see, we have a couple pendants today that these can work back to. So if you're interested, they are a customer pick, as many of the items are. And you'll see it again on Oshi right there. You can see it's just liquidy, it's silvery, it's a little he-she. I love it because it's a silver version of a hishi bead. Yes. Which is really neat, you know? And they're it just is. little teeny tubes, right? And especially the way it looks, it flows just like water and just, it's, it's, it, it shines. It basically shows off the jewelry that you have. Okay, and we do have those two sizes available, so certainly take advantage of that, which we love. And boy, what a great price that is for silver. That's really shocking, actually. It's a steal, actually. <laughs> it's like, like if you ever look, if you ever price silver and silver necklaces, you just really realize how awesome that value is. Okay, so we're moving on to the other pieces. Here we go, you ready? Super love. Now these earrings are coming up. And my bra look at this, look at that bracelet. Is that a powerful bracelet or what, right? It's like stunning. But look at how amazing these earrings are. And you know what I wanna show too, Jennifer? Let's talk a little bit about the silversmithing in these. Because notice, there's just a so much silver all bezel set. That's done by hand, right? Everything is done by hand. It's made in the USA and especially out in New Mexico and in Arizona. Uh, a lot of the silversmiths, they're given a certain amount of turquoise and silver that they work with. And so uh, they have to make each and every piece count. So when they start from a young age, they learn by, you know, visual, by uh, actually doing uh, the little stars that we have, the little shells and everything like that. And then so they work their way up to being master silversmiths, working with uh, Emerson Del Garrido, Loretta Del Garrido. Uh, they uh, like to teach uh, anyone who's willing to learn. And Do so, they really? yes, and so that's passing on the culture and that's what you're helping out to, especially on the reservation. See, I think that's so important too. I mean, it's not, you know, you're getting the most magnificent turquoise jewelry and beautiful silversmithing and the silver work, but you're really supporting something that I so firmly believe we all should support yes. you know there's so many things that are made overseas and kind of cranked out or machine made these are handcrafted pieces and they're done and it takes such training and you have to understand something interesting about hsn our standards are much much higher than the vast majority of jewelry retailers out there and when you really think about it what is out there when it comes to very traditional, beautiful turquoise looks? It's, it, number one, you gotta make sure it's genuine. That's a problem, because we all know that. There's a lot, <laughs> no, there's a ton of fake out there now, which is unfortunate. But two, you want to be able to support true Native Americans and keep this tradition alive, you know, by wearing not only magnificent pieces that would be hundreds and hundreds of dollars if you were in Santa Fe or Albuquerque or you were out west, but also just to be able to support these fabulous people who really do a magnificent job bringing us such unique pieces. By the way, the earrings are almost gone. Now, here's a little tip. I'm just saying. The earring size is exactly the same size as the pendant, right? They just, <laughs> they brought it. What I would do is get the earrings, I'd go to a jeweler, I'd ask them to put a different little jump ring on here, and guess what I would do? I'd make two pendants. <laughs> <laughs> I really would. I'd give one to me and maybe one to a friend or maybe one to your sister or maybe you keep one and give one to your mom. But if you <laughs> really want a tremendously smart value, you go for the earrings and then make two pendants out of it. Sorry, I won't insult anybody, will I, by telling that secret? I mean, they're huge. Look at that. There's my pendant. 
The earrings are just a hair, maybe, look, I'll just do that. Just a teeny bit smaller. Those are two beautiful pendants. So that's my just little inside tip if you want to grab the earrings. And, and Rick, how many earrings do I have left, honey? Oh, there's 20 pairs. Oh, that's it. Or, <laughs> or you're making 40 pendants out of it. <laughs> Look, I had to stop to do the math, Jennifer. I was like, wait, let me think about that. All right, so the ring. Um, I love the ring, too. I think it's beautiful. We have sizes 5 through 12, and I have less than 100 rings available. And that's lovely, Jennifer. It turned out so pretty. That's a great piece. Yeah, I love that. Okay, guys, so the ring, the... Rings limited, the earrings are almost completely gone, or it's now two pendants. And um, we have the pendant, the big pendant still available in the cross design. Okay, what are we doing? Oh, yes, okay. This is coming up. I just have to do it this way, because it's one magnificent piece. So there's a big story behind this too. This is our triple oval Kingman turquoise cuff, or we have the ceremonial. We have two different choices tonight. We are 90 dollars off for the very first time. The reviews on this are amazing. It's bold, a real showstopper, beyond stunning. Not taking it off, but to shower. I thought that was the funniest <laughs> review. Simply gorgeous. It is a magnificent piece of Native American art, and you truly are wearing three-dimensional art when you're wearing this jewelry. It's amazing. Isn't that even from a distance? It's beautiful. This will be coming up. It's never been $90 off until tonight. It is love at first sight. It is one that you just wear and wear and wear and get so many compliments, and it's a massive savings. By the way, the appraised value on this is $650 and I think that's being rather conservative. So that will be coming up. Many of you are asking about it. I also have the matching ring that I'm gonna stick on here in just a second. And I have the matching earrings that I'm wearing right now. So we will talk about all the pieces in just a moment. All right, more beautiful pieces to talk about in the show, including our liquid silver. Yeah, this is lovely. We have two different links on the liquid silver, the 18 inch and the 24 inch. You'll see us use it on several different pendants today. And we have two flex pays. The 18 inch is the most limited and it's truly um it's funny because hishi beads used to be little shells right yes a little, and you want to explain them real quick <laughs> they were tiny little itty bitty shells that like were this. were grinded into little small uh, discs and so what they had done is they had hand sewn each and every piece together and it had that graduated shell look to it and that's what was worn on a lot of uh, um, early excavation sites out in the Southwest. That's so cool. And what this is, is all those, li they're little teeny tubes that some magnificent person has the patience to string without <laughs> losing their mind. And then what happens because they're so small, I want you to see, it's literally liquidy, they call it liquid silver. So it just puddles in your hand. It's completely different than any other chain that you'll play with or wear. And I love how reflective it is and how brilliant that is. Now, what is this holding? That will that be the next item up? Here we go. Check this out. Oh my goodness, Jennifer. These turned out just beautiful. This is completely brand new. So what's the story behind these, if you will? That is the nausea. That is the bottom uh, portion of the, the squash blossom necklace. And um, the nausea was seen on uh, the Spanish conquistadors that on their horse bridles. Like right here? Yeah, right? right in here. And so what the Navajo people had done is they incorporated that in their jewelry making. And also it's, it is said that for the nausea being a representation of the moon, it is said that the moon is a woman. And so... When you see her brining, shining really bright at night and you can see everything and in the dark, uh, you're not supposed to stare at her too long because she'll take your beauty from her. From oh you. my gosh, that's yeah. so cool. What a neat story. <laughs> now we have a Howlite, which we don't see very often in the shows. That's really cool. And then of course we have your traditional uh, turquoise. And again, this is all absolutely genuine. Um, what I think you'll find fantastic about these pieces is when you get them at home, you're gonna feel the most magnificent weight you know what's happened recently, and really in the past, I'd say, decade? They have gotten uh, in traditional silver manufacturing, not, not our Chaco Canyon at all, but traditionally, it's gotten so thin. It's, it is. It's just it's so lightweight. And you mm -hmm. know they're just barely using enough silver to call it silver. Yeah. When you <laughs> touch a Chaco Canyon piece, you feel that it is a beautiful piece of jewelry. You can just sense it, you you you, you do, right? Yeah. The, yeah, well the artisans, they say if you want to get your money's worth, what you do is you, you tap your jewelry and if you can hear, <laughs> if you can hear the, the silver, that's the, the amount of silver that's in there. 
because if, if it's thin, like you said before, you won't hear like the depth in it. And you know, that's uh, what they're cheating you out of. Oh, that's yeah. so interesting, mm -hmm. yeah. And a lot of times we have to settle for that. Oh, the how light is almost gone. Um, by the way, I only have about 100 in both choices. 100% brand new, you've never seen it before. But I wish, I so wish I had just a turquoise nugget necklace out here. We don't have that anywhere, do we? Because I would love to see all these pendants on that nugget necklace maybe you have, or the multi-strand necklace you have. The white howlite is just so unique. You can put that on a um, onyx piece, onyx beads. If you have jet pieces, that would be beautiful on a beaded necklace and take on a whole different experience. Now, who are the artisans who created these two? Uh, those two are actually from Raymond Yazzie. And um, for the, the white howlite, what he calls the white buffalo. And so he says that it's, it's gonna be a bit before he comes into more rough, but he wanted to surprise some people out there with the new uh, addition to uh, the Naja jewelry. Oh, I love it too. I love it, love it, love it. And again, everything you can see has been handcrafted. But look at the uh, quality finishing to it. And I was saying that earlier is at HSN, we have really, really very high standards. For example, you really need to examine your jewelry when you buy it from us or anybody else. If you see what they call the soldering marks, that's not good jewelry. It's not finished. And we require, even if it's made by hand, that that's all smoothed over, that you don't see where one piece starts and another one ends. You will see variations only because they're all handmade. I mean, that's that's the beauty of it. Uh, they are one of a kind, but you wanna see, and please note just the quality. Everything about this is just beautifully done. And uh, a lot of times when you're doing it by hand like this, it takes more time. It's much more complicated. It's much more difficult. And here you just get a stunning look at how individual and interesting and wonderful these are. Why? Is there a lot of roping designs uh, in uh, Southwest Native American jewelry? For the way it swirls, it, it can be a representation of you know the the circle of life, or it can be the representation of the wind as it flows back and forth during a, a certain season, mm -hmm. and especially the way. Uh, the artisan uh, represents it. It's either he or she would be sitting outside just looking at nature and uh, that's what their image of you know, nature is at that time. I love that. And if you would think about, uh, if you think about the Spanish and the Spaniards, they would, um, when they arrived, very much have very ornate mm -hmm. uh, saddles and, and, and bridles. And you might have missed it, but can you re-explain where you'd see this typically on a horse? It'd be the center point of the horse right here. Mm -hmm. And so when you would see it, it would just rock up back and forth. You know, that would mesmerize the person who was uh, watching them. And especially the way the horses, uh, carried themselves, you know, they, they uh, put that in their jewelry making too as well. Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> and it's, it's, if you've ever seen anybody in full dress in a, in, with the, with the uh, bridle and that on the horse, it mm -hmm. is magnificent. Oh, it's yes. beautiful to see. <laughs> and it's become very symbolic in Native American jewelry, and this is a perfect example of that. Also notice, too, I'm going to grab my little ruler, too. Look, at, again, I love, I don't like wimpy jewelry. Let me just be really honest. I, I, I love big jewelry. This one comes in, oh, sorry, Dustin. Uh, we're at about two inches in one direction. And I'm going to go from the top of that bale all the way down to the very bottom. That's about three inches. And even notice the detail here. Just this beautiful little extra embellishment. And again, a really substantial bale. So. Oh, yes. And especially when you see the stars up on, on there, the, um, the Navajo people like to call themselves uh, the Dene, which means like their ancestors come from the stars. Oh, so when you see really that, neat. a lot of it's going to be made on the Navajo jewelry. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. All right, the white howlite is almost completely sold out. Please thank them for, for doing the white howlite. <laughs> we don't see it very often. It's In fact, it's, yeah. yeah, it's really cool. I was very <laughs> surprised. And this is absolutely brand new. How many are we down to in the Howlite version? And look how pretty, oh, there's 30. So that's, um, I'm just gonna hold it up here real quick. That's almost sold out. Isn't that just beautiful? Sorry, camera guys. <laughs> I'm totally messing them up. I just wanted you to see, look how pretty that is. Really, that's Love a showpiece. That. Yeah, that's a showpiece. You'll get stopped and people ask you about that one for <laughs> sure. Isn't that neat? And it's really unusual to see white and black stone. Yes. And you just don't find it, right? <laughs> okay, so coming up in just a couple of moments, we've got some more things we're gonna feature. It's the three stone ring. Now, every single review on this ring is perfect. It's a perfectly reviewed five-star piece. Here's a little sneak peek at it, and that's coming up just around the corner. Now, why do we love this? Because number one, the price is excellent, of course. And I love this review. It says, design is wonderful, very elongating to the finger. Another gal said, 100% recommend. Best of all, she loved our flex pay on that. And I will give you 
if I can find, what did I do with it? Where's my three row ring? Oh, here it is, right here, I've got it. Okay, I just want you guys to see it. Oh, thanks guys, it was right in front of me. <laughs> I'm looking all around, Jennifer, you got it, who's got this? But I want you to see, isn't this a pretty ring? Just gorgeous, and again, that's a Kingman that we used in that one, didn't they? Yes. Beautiful. That rivals Sleeping Beauty. I like that because it, you have that representation of past, present, and future. Oh, that's well. neat, yeah. Or three kids, three yes. grandkids. There's a lot of symbolism <laughs> behind it. There it is, $99.90, and we have five flex coming up. Perfect five-star review by all the customers. You love it, and I think you'll love it too. Isn't that pretty? Oh, by the way, sizes five through 12, if you want to order it now. By the way, if you're watching and you're brand new, you don't have to wait. <laughs> if you see something that really kind of rocks your world, then I wouldn't. Something you need to know that all of these items are extremely limited. I'd love it if Jennifer could bring in 5,000 of anything. Even 1,000 <laughs> of anything would be good, but I think that's what makes this extra special because these are all handcrafted. And so they're not being able to, they can't, they can't crank out thousands and thousands. In fact, we only do what, maybe one or two today's specials a year, right? Yes, yes. That's all we can do. Mm -mm, that, I mean, it's, oh, they you only can do so much and, and especially with the amount of uh, uh, product that they have, you know, they can, it can only be like five, 10, 20 a day, depending on what it is. Sure, I mean, because there's so much workmanship. All right, here we go, you ready for this one? I couldn't wait to get to this, <laughs> I'll be honest with you. You guys have made this another customer pick. In fact, right now, if you want to read them, if you go to hsn.com, there's 13 perfect five-star reviews. And they are raving about it. You can tell when people get this at home, they are absolutely blown away at its magnificence. We have two choices. We've got your Kingman, or we have the ceremonial turquoise. So two very distinct turquoise, just absolutely stunning. I also have the matching pieces to go back to it. So I'm gonna slide this over. We have the matching rings. I have the matching earrings, and I'm actually, there's Osha, oh, she's wearing the ring, and we have the matching earrings to go back to this set. So where would you like to begin on this? I us try the green ceremonial. You wanna start with ceremonial? Yes. Okay, now why is it called that? The green, the reason why they call it the green ceremonial turquoise is that uh, it is said that uh, a Navajo medicine man had gone to the Kingman mine, mm -hmm. and um, he was looking for a uh, rough, mm -hmm. and so when he was looking at the rough, he seen the green hue of the, the turquoise and it had some brown sway on the inside. And so with that, it reminded him of uh, snakes. And the snakes are very important to uh, the Navajo people in their ceremony and it's a, it's a blessing uh, for them. And so what he did is he named that rough of turquoise, the green ceremonial turquoise. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so interesting. And it's really stunning. Yes, it is. And it's surprising that of the same exact mine, you get that vivid blue and Sleeping Beauty, right? Comes out of that. Oh, yeah. We actually have some Sleeping Beauty coming up. Stay tuned for that. <laughs> if you are a Sleeping Beauty collector, yep, believe it or not, we have some. So what are we seeing here in the pictures? Well, actually, we're looking at the Callbug family and we, uh, this is their, their mine. And so just looking at the rough that we have here, it's... Uh, it is said that the water to that uh, the the ceremonial turquoise was found and had that green you know effect to it too as well and so that's why they they name it that and so especially with the with that really bright blue turquoise that you have there, uh, that is one of the most sought after two uh, oh, yeah. turquoise too as well. Yeah, check this one too. Now this is. I mean, it's rivaling some of the very best turquoise in the whole world. When you see this kind of blue and you don't see a lot of veining in it, it's stunning. Now, here's what we did tonight. And I love it. I mean, here on the East Coast, obviously we're at, uh, what are we doing? 1.23 in the morning. If you're on the West Coast, it's still early evening for you. What a special neat show. Because we don't do Chaco Canyon a lot and it's such meaningful jewelry and they're so stunning. These are powerful pieces. You'll feel it, you know it when you put it on. One of the gals said, this is beyond stunning. Another review says, simply gorgeous. I love this one, not taking it off but to shower. I totally <laughs> understood that one too. And another gal said, it's bold, this is a real showstopper. And it truly is. You can't walk into a room or an office or a party or a cookout or an event or down the street without people really, really turning their heads and admiring this magnificent jewelry. It's truly a level of its own. And I think too, Jennifer, because there's so much love and passion and history behind all these pieces, you almost can truly sense it when you hold them. Yes. You really can feel <laughs> that, that there's so much care and pride 
going into the creation of these pieces. And I know a lot of them watch and they tune in and you know want to oh, see yes. their pieces on the air, so thank you all for it. But you know, you can sense that pride, that craftsmanship, and that brilliant skill. Now tonight, we've taken $90 off, and please note the appraised value, $650. And I'll tell you what, I dare you to go to Santa Fe and try to match this, gram for gram, silver for silver, technique for technique, big stone for big stone, at $650. I really do. I mean, if you've ever been out there, and I've been very blessed to travel out there in the past, oh my gosh, you go into those gallery stores, and you're talking thousands of dollars for people, right? I spiral in and I come right back out because it's, it's like, oh, okay, no. It's, you do, you walk in, you go, pretty stuff, but it's insanely expensive out there. And again, that's another reason why we have so many people who love to collect their Native American jewelry from HSN. It is because we do have amazing savings. All right, guys, I do not have a lot of the cuffs remaining. $90 off while they last. That is a special featured price. It's not even clearance. It's already a customer pick. We just drop their price for Jennifer's visit and we have four flex pays available now we also have the matching ring so I'm wearing the ring let me see if I can switch hands here I'm gonna do a little switcheroo there's the ring and this is really quite substantial too it's yes it's a, it's equally as beautiful you just have to pick which color the ring I have sizes 5 through 12 can you talk a little bit about this design and where it's inspired from uh, the the designs actually were made by two different gentlemen uh, Jerome Lee and Jimson Boleyn the Boleyn family have actually been with us for a very long time. Um, Jimson's uncle was a, a master silversmith with us, and um, uh, he had uh, um, passed away about a year, uh, about a year and a half ago. And uh, so, just to honor his um, his wisdom and the culture that he passed down to him, he made this in memory of, of him. And so, just to pass on to someone else the joy that he had that his uh, that the family uh, culture was passed. And so, when you see this. Like I said before, the Navajo people say that they, their ancestors come from the stars. So you see the little stars around the, each piece of jewelry, and especially for the rings and the cuffs. Oh, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. What a neat story. All right, we're going to head to the phones and say hi to Julie, in, or Judy, excuse me, in Colorado. Hi, Judy. You're on with Jennifer and Suzanne. Thank you for being with us tonight. Oh, thank you. Jennifer, hi. How Morning. are you? Hi. <laughs> Welcome. And Suzanne, I'm so glad to talk with you as well. Well, thank you for joining us. Um, we appreciate the reason it. I'm calling, well, a couple of reasons. One is I bought the nausea in, I call it white buffalo, Jennifer. I don't know if that's the correct description or not. Oh, yes, I, I said that before. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, you called it hell light, too, so I wasn't, I wasn't yes. sure. Well, the, that the I was actual stone itself so is white. Um, I live in Colorado, so we do have access to turquoise. You just have to know where to get it. And there's a small um, store in Estes Park, Colorado, and um, it's run by, um, I can't think of the name of the Native American group, but that's where I bought my other white buffalo pieces. And But yours is stunning. A mm -hmm. lot of times it doesn't have a lot of color to it. It's mostly white. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to get that. And then I wanted to compliment the ceremonial turquoise. And what do you call the other blue? You called it something when it was the Today Special. It was... It the Kingman? Was, or was... No, it was like... A, well, it was blue Kingman, but there so was yes, another I, word I, I, to do with water. I read blue water, I think. Right, blue yeah. water. I bought both sets. How do you like them? Nice. I bought the um, earrings, the ring, and um, the pendants, and they're absolutely stunning. Hey, Judy, do me a favor. Explain the quality, because it's like, people cannot feel the jewelry, oh, okay. obviously, on television. Um, and I've been collecting turquoise since 1980. Wow. I worked in labor relations in copper mining, and that's how I found my first turquoise. So I have a wow. lot of turquoise. <laughs> I don't have any turquoise that even comes close to the quality that I get from Chaco Canyon. Um, the silversmithing is remarkable. I'm, you know, in, in this day and age, the, the silver weight is oftentimes so light. Um, and, but the size, I like large jewelry. And those rings are stunning. And the quality of the turquoise is just, oh, I, I just, I don't have any other turquoise, including Sleeping Beauty, which 
um, I have for pieces from you as well that can even rival you. I mean, I would stay up till five in the morning if I knew you were gonna be on. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> thank you. Well, Judy, thank you. It was great for you to chat with us and well, thank, thank you for you. describing I, that for everyone. No one should hesitate at all to buy this jewelry. It's absolutely remarkable. Thank you. Oh, Judy, that's awesome. Thank that, you. She really kind of summed it up for us. Yeah. She can come work for us. She can come sit between us next time. And it is so true. And I'm so excited that you guys are trying this tonight. Maybe you're like Judy and you've tried it before. She clearly knows a lot about turquoise. And it's interesting because you can have a copper, it goes like this, you can have a copper mine without turquoise, but you have to have copper to find turquoise. Right? Isn't that neat? And she worked for the copper business, so she clearly understands copper and turquoise and their yes. relationship. So that I, I love it when we have a caller like that, because I hope it assures you to try these pieces. I hope you're like me, and I hope you have a passion for it. My parents actually were big turquoise collectors and turquoise jewelry collectors when I was growing up. My mom and dad actually made turquoise and jewelry pieces, and they strung the little he-she beads in the shells, and they did all that. And I still have some of their pieces in my own personal collection. So I, from a very very, very young age have been passionate about this type of jewelry. And I think the workmanship that goes behind it, there is certainly a sense, a real sense of the craftsmanship as Judy was mentioning, the solidness of the sterling silver, the thickness of it, just the whole experience is so different than any other jewelry, even here at HSN. It just is a whole different feel to it. And you can really tell there's such passion and such artistry standing behind it. How is this collection? What's the story? We've got the matching earrings. We have this most amazing, and cuffed available. And of course, let me give you an update on the ring. All of these pieces are limited. I just want you to assure you, and I love that Ju Judy didn't mess around. When she went, and this is uh, just for clarification, Ju uh, Judy, in Native American, they do call it, you were saying, the um, white buffalo. It's a howlite. White howlite is the actual stone itself. They've just given it a different name. It's called white buffalo. But officially, this is called white howlite. And that's what Judy had picked up a few moments ago. But all of these pieces, including our earrings there's a handful it's not like you're going to walk down the street and you're going to see everybody and their brother looking at the same old boring jewelry you find at the mall this is wildly different and i love what judy said uh, jennifer she really summed up the quality versus pricing equation mm -hmm. so well you know, explaining <laughs> what great values they really are. Beautiful. I like them because every time I get the samples, it's um, it's kind of strange, but yeah, I, I get all the samples and you, like you touch it, you feel it. And especially with the nausea pendants, I, I had those against my face. I'm like, oh my God. It's like you feel the soul out of each and every one and you know what they've gone through or like the happiness in it, like yes. in each and every piece. You really do. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 I know it sounds a little crazy late at night. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, really? But I do encourage you with FlexPay and all the things we have going on today. In fact, FYI, you might not have known this, but if you spend $99 or more today, and this is uh, just for today and tomorrow, uh, $99 or more on shoe footwear, accessories, jewelry. Is there still, there's one more thing. Oh, beauty. Oh, oh, there you go. No, and footwear is in there too. At least according to my notes it is, right? Is that considered fashion or accessories? Okay. <laughs> anyway, if you spend $99 or more, everything's going to ship for free, which is great. So if you're picking up our jewelry, the shipping, well, in this case, the drop earrings are absolutely free. So you do get free shipping, but that can really add up very quickly. Uh, but make sure you get all your shopping in in the same day because that will reset itself at midnight tomorrow night. And who doesn't want free shipping? I know I love it. All right, two different choices. This is a ceremonial, which is more of the green color with that beautiful ground, or brown veining and matrix and this is your Kingman, which is that blue, blue, blue. So here's the cuff as a quick reminder. I can't possibly have many left in either one, I'll be honest with you. $90 off while they're available. Very, very limited. Just a magnificent, stunning, bold statement piece. All the workmanship just something you'll, you'll love. It's an heirloom piece. I mean, this is something that's going to be in your family for years and years and generations. <laughs> to, it really will. It's, gener it's like my family. I still have some of our original pieces my parents collected. I have some of that with my great-grandmothers, too, that oh, I have. really? Yeah, oh, the, like the white howlite? Yeah. Yes, I have a, a long, almost something like this, but it's really long. Oh, is it really? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's neat, yeah. too. How, how old is it, do you think? Gosh, she was, she got it when she was like maybe 13, 14. Oh, wow. She passed away like at 115. Oh, 
Oh my goodness, yeah. how cool is that? <laughs> and it just, they really do become important, uh, important memories and important uh, pieces in your family. Okay, so here's what's gonna happen. Coming up, let me do a little tease, you ready? My drop necklace, love that. Also, most affordable piece in the entire show. We'll see that in a moment. And we also have the lowest price ever and a customer pick on a stamped cuff, so stay with us. Summer's here, and your favorite HSN hosts are celebrating with their favorite finds, new discoveries, and five flex pay on all their picks. Kick off your summer with HSN's Summer Host Pick Event. Starts Monday night at 10 p.m. My singular goal is to improve the quality of people's lives. Everything we do is intended to be unlike any other company of our kind. We just make exceptional vitamins so you could have exceptional health. It's not important that you get the products I'm offering, but it's very important that you get the information I'm sharing because information is the key to being a healthy person. is your go-to guide for our favorite fashion and accessory finds of the week. We have the best styles hand-picked just for you. Join us tonight to see what made the list. We love our gemstones to be beautiful, colorful, and durable. That's why we give some of them a little more love. Enhancements may require special care and may not be permanent while others may last a lifetime. For more information, visit hsn.com and search Gemstone to see our Gemstone Enhancement Chart. Welcome to Chaco Canyon. It's two hours. Jennifer Wan joins me. She is a member of the San Carlos Apache tribe. There you are. Now, what are you doing? These are some of the artisans, right? <laughs> yes. I was asking each and every one of them uh, what, 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 they mem what memory they had of the first piece that they made and who did they give it to. And I got some surprising responses. What was the most surprising? Good. The one was for uh, uh, one of the gentlemen that was there. They um, were making a a special pendant for his wife and but she wanted it a certain way but she didn't think it was for her so he <laughs> went after and it was done he learned to go with his intuition about you know what she was feeling and what she thought was nice and so now he says that he makes the jewelry that he makes for women you know actually for her something that she would like and so um oh so when he approaches yes when he approaches a new jewelry piece he thinks yeah. about her yes oh that's awesome uh -huh. that's really cute that's that's a great story okay now we're going to talk about this really neat uh drop necklace you know what my favorite part of this necklace is is how it's made i love I was looking at that isn't it so earlier. cool like i was i've been wearing this all night for the last couple of hours and i like that it's it comes around yes. from the back and it's got a um a little hook on the back, of course, it's sterling silver. And then I love how it comes to this roped circle and then it just drops. And so it's a little bit different than a more traditional Native American piece, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Isn't that pretty? We have two colors once again on this one. We have your turquoise, the blue or the green, that's your option, so blue or green. The length on the necklace is 24 inches. Um, I really like the chain. These are rope textured, well that's an, op 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 um, excuse me, an, an oval that connects the link but then what you're looking at is this wonderful I don't know they're almost like well it's like a it's a circular chain link and then an elongated one <laughs> See that? See, I love that. It's got a little bit of mirror finish to it. <laughs> yes. It's really a neat chain. I love this chain. Now, explain this one to us, if you will. Uh, this is made by uh, Greg Yazzi, and um, the way it is made, uh, they twist a, a wire around a, a, like a metal pick, and then so they cut all the little chain links all the way through. And that's actually one of the like most popular uh, styles of necklaces on the reservation, especially for pendants that are it like is. that. It this, is, mm -hmm. this style. Mm -hmm. So it's like an oval and then elongated, yes. oval elongated. Uh -huh. And you guys can see it right there. I think this is really distinct. It's, I mean, this is, what we, this is why we buy jewelry from Chaco Canyon, you know, because it is very different. Now, I really want to talk about how they set the stones in this one, because it's almost like a, almost an organic frame around it. <laughs> oh, so something like this you would see 
see that it, when you're coming down from a mountain, you're looking at a lake, and then you see the different formations of it, uh, because we say that water is life, and especially when you look at water, uh, they say mm -hmm. that there are different um, cultures and our different traditions come from water with like the, we come from water and so um you also have the sky stone that looks like water mm -hmm. and so that's a lot of their inspiration from it and i want you guys to see it's almost like a shadow box if you'll notice see how they've created i love the fact it's just more organic looking mm -hmm. you know it's not it's not a perfect oval it's more like a bean really when you think about it but i <laughs> love the fact that they've built that and then what you'll see is this is um bezel set so the stone's bezel set and there's a really substantial space in there almost like a valley you'd see surrounding it and then notice too they've got the hand craftsmanship on either side when i turn it over obviously you can see just a huge amount of excuse me, sterling silver. And then it all just trickles up to this really beautiful chain. It, it's very different, right? It, and, and here's what I also love too. Let's say you picked up our cross earlier. Let me review this one. Um, certainly if you go down to the southwestern part of the United States, you'll see when people wear turquoise, they really bring it. Like, yeah, I love going down there. They know how to wear turquoise and it's layer after layer. You know, it's literally multiple pieces. But look how pretty this is. If you wanted to do a piece here, maybe it's a nugget necklace and you pop this on. I have a really pretty turquoise necklace. It's little stations of turquoise that's very long. Double that up and drape it with this. Again, a very pretty look. So think about adding this to your wardrobe. Or if you need a starter piece for somebody in your family, this would be a really lovely way to introduce somebody to the <laughs> love of turquoise. It looked fun because when I seen you on earlier and um, just the way it flowed and it stayed there and uh, you moved at certain times, you can see the, the flashiness of the silver, but yet uh, with the turquoise, Again, you had that shadow box effect. The shadow box actually is said to be uh, your your own shadow because they say that when your your shadow will never leave you, it'll always guide you and it'll always have your back. Oh, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And by the way, this is on sale. I got to point that out very quickly because um, it's an awesome price. Under 100 for flex pays. I wanted to slide because this, this once again is ceremonial and this is Blue Kingman, okay? But I wanted to slide these earrings in because I think they're funky and they're super cool <laughs> and they're totally unlike everything else in the show. And I just love them. And I wanted to just get a peek at them. Again, there's the green turquoise. Here's your Kingman turquoise. These are on sale for $119.90 and five flex. And then we have a little dollop of a gemstone there. Sorry, Rick. I can't remember what that is. Do you remember garnet. what that is? Oh, garnet. Oh, that's right. It's garnet. And then, of course, you have really almost like a slab of turquoise. Love that elongation. And while they're not the exact same shape, they are the same family, um, I think this would look really cool back to these earrings, back to this necklace. Because the necklace is different. It's not a traditional It is. They're, they're two different um, focal points, especially when you see that big amount of uh, turquoise on there. It's a lot of it, they call it the ceremonial because a lot of the, that look goes into uh, to their dances. And you know, it's, it's, uh, it's used for um, certain you know, types of crops or either certain types of uh, uh, seasons that they do that they pray for or, or more food to feed you know, their families and things like that. Oh, that's neat. Mm -hmm. That's what, that kind of row look. Yes. So, and again, it is, this is the way you wear it. You know, wear it different, wear it unexpected. I think this is a great modern interpretation of a turquoise piece. So if you're interested, just want to make sure you saw those because they do work back to the stone colors in the main necklace. All right, so here's the story on the necklace. What is the most limited of the two, Rick, at this point? Because all of these are so, that's the problem about doing a Chaco Canyon show. We don't have a lot of anything. Yeah, the green ceremonial is the most limited of the two. Please remember the sale is, um, well, it's sale price, and that's absolutely brand new. The necklace I have on and you're seeing on Oshi, that's a brand new piece, and we put it on sale. So we normally don't do that. So again, ask for your patience on that one. The drop, by the way, is two and three quarters of an inch. Hey, by the way, if you missed out, speaking of Americana, uh, we have sold 4,500 sets of our today's special, and they are from Tony Little, and they're the Cheeks Health Sandals. Now, here's what's even better better and you're really not seeing there. So maybe we can go, can we go to the web? Only because you're getting not one, you're getting two pairs. You get a solid color and you get a print. And when the prints are gone, they're not re repeated. They're always brand new. This is our first, last, and only two-pack of Tony's Sandals Today's Special for the entire year. You can get them right now. I, I personally wouldn't wait. They're in whole sizes. Just a little heads up, the red with the red, white, and blue, the American flag design, that American red set, is the most limited. I mean, it's very,
very limited. It's also the most unique of the collection. If you'd like to see more details, go to hsn.com. If you're a half size, you do want to go up to your next full size. I mean, eight and a half, I've got nines on, and they're perfect. They last forever. The darn things just, you can't, you can't destroy them, basically. And they have all the support with a serious arc support, gel support be, uh, built in, and a very lightweight and very comfortable sandal for you to enjoy. All right, here we go. You ready? Hang on to your hats because we have even more. This is a three stone ring and it was very, very popular when we gave you guys a little sneak peek at it. So here we go. It already has a perfect five star rating which I love. <laughs> sale price, and that's a full price, by the way. This is now sale priced at $99.90. And again, we have five flex, and we have free shipping, which is awesome. Had to pull this baby out. So we'll give you the information because that looks terrific together, right? Here's the quote. I love this. We got a couple of quotes because it is a perfect five-star review. 100% recommend. Best of all, they love the flex pay on this. And another gal said the design is wonderful, very elongating to the finger. And it is that triple stone design. Now, can we start with where the stone is from? So this is Kingman, but I'm telling you what, it's hard pressed not to think this is not Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> I was looking at that just to see if I we had it. We did double check, didn't we? I was like, it is Kingman for sure. But I'll tell you, this is a really special blue color that they've done in this ring. It's very, very pretty. Love that. It is, when you see this, uh, it, um, just just working with people who were from uh, the Sleeping Beauty mine and now for the for the Kingman mine, mm -hmm. uh, you can see that the the hues really match each other. And so when you see the the deep color, the deep robin's egg blue effect that is on it, a lot of people out there tend to get them mixed up. But something like this, you're gonna wanna get it, especially at the price that it is now. Oh, it's amazing, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, but, but I'm... I just want to FYI, I'm trying to get the starters live television. Um, the next item coming up is the cuff you're seeing. So we're going to give you guys a scoop on that right now. Lowest price we've ever done. That cuff is magnificent. It looks beautiful back to the triple ring because I think it's the ovals that they repeated from the cuff to the ring. Um, now let's talk a little bit about the uh, triad, the three. Mm -hmm. How would you interpret that or Native Americans interpret that? I was looking at it as pa past, present, and future, but then again, when you see the cluster uh, effect on a lot of Navajo jewelry, that is the, uh, the, um, the definition of family. You have a family coming together, whether it be in a circle, whether it be you know in a line, because you have that strong bond that'll never break. Oh, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Also, I do think if you have three grandchildren, I think if you've got three kids in your life, you know, if you want to talk about your three sisters, there, or maybe give it to mom for her birthday, and it's the three of you. I think there's so much symbolism behind it, and it's just a really fantastic looking ring. It is elongating on the finger. It's very comfortable, by the way. Last call on size 11, last chance chance on size 12 when we go 5 through 11 12 so 5 6 7 8, 10 11 12 11 and 12 are almost gone it is a perfect five star reviewed piece and just so you'll know the cuff is coming up next we will get to it i would absolutely run to grab this cuff and also think guys when you think about the cuff coming up next because guys or gals could easily wear this cuff and there's so much stamping on this cuff i think you're going to love it but in this case we're talking about that great east west design and yet it's north south south because of the trio of stones put together when they're working on these pieces jennifer how do they start do they start with a silver they start with a stone what's the inspiration like how do they work towards the finished piece actually i remember with this one uh, his name is bucky Boleyn. it's actually jimson Boleyn's cousin and um uh this one was a representation of uh of rain and as you look at, when you sit outside, when you actually appreciate nature, uh, he says that the rain effect will come very slowly as it hits the ground in, in graduated effect. Oh, that's neat. Oh, yes, of course. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. But also, what do we see in this process? I'm, do, they, do they get inspired? Do they think about, okay, I'm going to do rain and then create it? Or do they look at the stones and go, oh, it just reminds me of rain? Actually, they do pictures, or if not, the, a lot of them, like like I said before, walk outside. Uh, they go out into the, the mountains out in Flagstaff where they do their prayer blessings and a lot of the ceremonial items. They go out into 
the old uh, uh, pawn shops and mm -hmm. you know, pawn shop jewelry and try to make a more updated version of that. Oh, mm -hmm. neat. So they're inspired by yes. not only nature, but like mm -hmm. um, old, older oh, jewelry yeah, pieces. Yeah, past, past jewelry oh, that they had before. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I love that. I love it. And how much work goes into making, I'm going to get to the cuff in a second because this thing, wait till you see the inside of the cuff. Like, it's amazing. But how many hours do you think it would go into making a ring? My goodness, uh, they say it can either range from maybe five to 10, depending wow. on the artisan, if they're the master silversmith. If not, maybe five to six a day. Wow. So just as you're starting out, as, as the more you do, the, the more uh, cuffs and rings that you're able to do in a day. Right. But um, like I said, a lot of the Navajo people are really, uh, uh, you know, passionate about what they do. And so, especially with the jewelry that we bring to HSN, they want to do their best right. because that's their only source of income too as well. Right. And mm -hmm. I think, yeah, again, I think that's so important. You know, yes, everybody's rated this a five star and they love it, but please remember you're wearing three-dimensional art and it's created by what I believe we should all support because we don't want to lose this art. We mm -hmm. don't, we want to, we want these wonderful artisans and silversmith and craftspeople to st keep doing this because it's proudly made here in the United States and it is such history behind it and there's such reverence behind it and there's spirituality behind it and there's so much meaning behind it and I think for all of us to be able to support that it, it counts it matters uh, you know again I get on my soapbox when I do the shows because I just think it's something we should all proudly wear and it's so distinct and you'll love it I mean there's many selfish reasons why we love it but I think there's those other reasons just remembering that these artisans we want them to keep training that next generation we want them to keep doing this because they do it so well but it's who we are it's who our country is it's a very important and significant part of our roots of our cultures um, I just think it's something that we should be passionate about and again I was instilled this passion from my mom and dad who were very much into Native American art and cr they even created some of their own and they just passed that down to us to appreciate this artistry even though we certainly are not part of any tribes at all <laughs> um, we certainly can appreciate supporting that and being a part Part and, and really owning these significant pieces because they really are magnificent. And as I said earlier, Jennifer, you sense it, you feel it, you know it. Mm -hmm. You touch a piece, you wear a piece, <laughs> you can't help but feel a certain vibe from it. Oh, yes. Uh, one of the, there's one man that I knew from uh, Phoenix and his nickname was Chatterbox and uh, <laughs> he didn't really talk this too much. my twin. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't talk too much, but <laughs> he's like, well, yeah, my nickname's Chatterbox, I'm gonna tell you a story. So I got quiet and I was listening and he was just working. And um, so he says, yeah. And I'm, I'm still trying to, you know, think about what he's trying to say. It took him a long time to say something. And then like, you know, uh, 20 minutes went by and I said, well, well, what are you doing? He goes, I'm telling you a story. But I didn't know that the story was inside the, the bracelet he was making. It was one of the storytelling uh, cuffs that had uh, pictures of Pueblos, of people uh, growing corn on it and things like that. Oh, but he wow. says, you don't listen with your ears. He goes, you listen with your eyes. That's how you learn when you grow up in life. And then you hear everything else later on, he told me. I'm like, okay. What a cool story. <laughs> I mean, everything flew past me. I kind of got embarrassed. But you know, just looking at the story, you know, there's there's a story within that too as well. And we're gonna reveal it in just a moment. <laughs> How's that for a tease, right? Okay guys, I wanna give you a quick reminder. Now we do have a second choice in this. Let me find it. Where is my green? Is that my green one? Yeah, okay, there we go. So we've got two different choices in this. We have your Kingman turquoise and we have the ceremonial green turquoise. The green is the most limited. This is a brand new design that is on sale. So it's new, it's completely exclusive, and I love it. I think it's a very different take on uh, Native American jewelry. There's just something kind of updated about it. I love the fact it's a single stone. This shadow boxing is amazing on this. And I like the fact that it is irregular. I like we all are, right? Just a little different, a little more, a little special. It's it's just a really very unique gallery piece in my mind. It's under $100. We do have four flex tonight. It is brand new, and you'll be the first to get it. And again, we just don't have a lot of these. They they make they handcraft all of these, so it's not like there's some machine plopping them out somewhere overseas. They're literally each and every one made by hand. So it's a beautiful piece. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to this cuff. Yeah. And it's this cuff, like, <laughs> like we should have a drum roll or something because this thing is really pretty. Okay, so this is, it's amazing to me. 
a huge amount of sterling silver to start with. Here's the outside, fantastic. This to me is good for a guy or a gal. If you are feeling guilty because you always buy turquoise for yourself, there's a guy in your life, then buy him this bracelet. But girls, we can all wear it. We have small medium, which fits a six to seven inch, or medium large, which is seven to eight inch. If you're very careful, you can stretch it out a little bit. Be careful when you do that. Now, here's what's cool. Five beautiful, huge stones. Amazing sterling silver. Beautiful craftsmanship. Stamping, all done by hand. But watch this. Look in, I know, isn't that stunning? Now, Jennifer, here's what's interesting. We're all gonna see this. We're all, most of us would see this if I'm wearing it. Nobody's really gonna see that except me. Why do that? Well, sometimes when you have your cuff, you know, you have that indentation of the, the shank that's in the middle. Um, sometimes when you have a storytelling cuff like that, you have that impression on your skin when you take it off. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> now, what's the story behind this one? When you look at it, you're going to see uh, what you're going to see is like clouds and the, the sun rays. You're going to see mountains in the back. Oh, and so, so when cool. there's different interpretations that are like that. And also on the side, you're, you're going to see feathers. And so something, sure. something like this, they would have the, the feathers would be an eagle or it'd be a different type of bird that was used for ceremonial purposes. And so with a story like this, uh, they talk about uh, this story that I always tell called a red flicker tail bird. And um, a long time ago, there was a bunch of uh, birds that were lined up by the eagle. The eagle was putting them all in line and telling them to, um, that they're gonna have certain, uh, um, protection and what they're gonna do. And so the littlest of the birds comes walking up and tries to talk to the eagle and like, you know, tap him from the back and say, you know, what can I do for you? And he says, oh, well, what you can do is just fly up to the sun and come back. And but they thought he wasn't gonna come back. So they were having their little, ma their meeting, their powwow, they were talking about, you know, what they're gonna do. And so they heard a loud boom behind them and so they all turned around to see what the boom was and there was a big hole in the ground that was just glowing. And um, so they looked inside the hole and they thought, you know, that maybe the bird had passed away. And so as they all looked in, the little red tail flicker bird was behind the eagle and said, you know, what can I do for you now? And the tails <laughs> of his feather were glowing red. They had that red hue to it. And so the eagle told him, you know, you're going to be used for blessings. You're going to be praying for people that are coming to you because you're blessed because you went above the clouds into the sky towards the sun. Oh, my gosh, mm -hmm. that's a cool story. <laughs> Let's say hi to Judy in Arizona. Hi, Judy. Welcome. You're on with Jennifer and Suzanne. Thank you for joining us. Yes. Glad to talk to both of you. Hi. Well, it's so lovely to meet you. I'm sure you're familiar with turquoise jewelry and silver out yes. in Arizona. Yes. I am, and I'm so glad to see Jennifer, and she looks so good. She looks younger every time I see her, really, <laughs> and she's such a wonderful representative for um, the, the Indian nations, you know, yes. and um, tonight I got the, last time I was on, I got the elongated blue water ring, and tonight I got the earrings, and I got the three stone ring. Oh. And uh, I know right where the reservation is, we used to pass it a lot going to the White Mountains. Mm -hmm. And years ago, we used to go to White River and do the dances. And I've talked about the 50s. Wow. But I love her jewelry, and I've actually got some Sleeping Beauty jewelry that I bought from her a long time ago, mm -hmm. like 15 or 20 years ago. Lucky you to have the Sleeping Beauty pieces. <laughs> yes. Now, Judy, you're obviously surrounded by plenty of turquoise, silver, Native American jewelry where you live. Why do you choose to shop from us? I just, I love the Chaco Canyon jewelry. It's so authentic. I like the way she goes around to the different uh, artisans and, and gets the jewelry. And uh, it's just such top quality. Mm -hmm. And... Um, <laughs> Also, the green that you had on tonight is just beautiful. It reminds me a lot of the old green turquoise mm -hmm. that they used to have years ago, the ceremonial turquoise. Mm -hmm. 
Well, lovely. Well, I'm so glad you found some extra special pieces to add to your collection, Judy, and thank you for joining thank you. us tonight. That was awesome. Yes. Yeah, and you know what? I think it's such a compliment. <laughs> I mean, think about it. You know, Judy's at home. She's clearly surrounded by plenty in Arizona, plenty of choices of buying silver and turquoise, and if she chooses to pick Chocolate Canyon and here at HSN. So I hope you can really shop with us with confidence. And it's interesting because I can bet you that we are beating everyone's prices across the country. I, I know we are. Because typically, I'll show you again when you get this at home this is like this is built to last for generations it's just so much silver in here this at 359.90 originally it was 391 we've got it on sale it's the lowest price ever it's a customer pick I have 30 in each size $33 off it has 14 perfect five-star reviews lowest price we've ever done and here's the story on it you could easily spend five six seven eight hundred dollars if you were to buy this cuff out in Santa Fe or in Arizona. It's just, it's, it's, it's unbelievable we have it at $359.90. No kidding. And you know what? You'll, I believe, agree with me when you get this at home and you open the box. And you're just, you, you'll, you'll 